I will do the Lekwangen, then provide the translation after. I'll do it in our language. Lekwangen. Asia Chelacha Aichkwa Kwanzane Ethla Atiu Anak Kokoletsa Tanesne Chesa Chesafasan at Lekwangen. Tiria Sensa Thesa Siam Aichkwa Atiu Akhawas Squecho Utiya Tanga Ta Mak Stein Eitlakwar Skolelno Tafsolno Utiya Kaha Tonga Takwane Kwankwam Ta Skolakun Utiya Naskelija Kwantalna Swa Afla Ita Nananas Aichka Isisiam Aichka Kwan's Alan and Spolakun. Thank you for coming here today. My name is Kokoletsa. I'm from here, Lakwangan. I will pray. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for everything, sacred ocean, trees, animals, and the sacred land. Please strengthen the feelings of my friends and relatives. Watch over my, our family and children. Thank you, Creator. Thank you for listening to my feelings. I am Kokletsa. My given English name is Frank George. I am Lekwangen, also known as Songhees. I am 72 years old. I have always resided on Songhees lands. I am married with four children, and my wife Linda is originally from Snanaimo Nation. We have four children and four grandchildren. Chief Chiefland my great-grandfather had his long house at Sangea, now called Cadbora Bay. So our family's lands included where the university is located today. My great-grandfather, Chiefland, from their village on Cadbora Bay in 1843-1844, and our family's new law house was built right where the Delta Point Hotel is today. Chiefland was also a signatory to the Douglas Treaty in 1850. I am grateful and honored to support this exhibition and the work of Theo Chief Nick Claxton, Kumpsal Tu who is working with his community. Our local First Nations bring back the reef net fishery. This exhibit is an important step in the surges of culture and affirming our rights to our lands and waters. I serve as the Sanghi's elder and liaison to the UBIC Living Lab project which connects agricultural restoration and education to indigenous knowledge. Focused on work with schools and community members, recovering the reef net culture and fishery is a key point of this Living Lab work. We, the Songhees people, are a part of the Coast Salish people for whom the reef net was the foundation of our economy and culture, along with the camp. It is important to tell you that the Douglas tree today protected the Waz Sandwich and Lekwangan people to fish as formerly. And yet this, like many other things, was not honored 
and was taken away. It is also important to remember that in the time of COVID and epidemic that our people were nearly all wiped out by the smallpox in 1792. And then tuberculosis and other illnesses in the 1890s. I stand here today as a survivor of many hardships and as a proud member of a resilient people. As far as education goes, I began my education in a one-room schoolhouse called the Songhees Indian Day School. The building is still standing in our community today. The grades went from one to six, one teacher. From there, I went to St. Louis College and then to Squamal High and closed to college to complete my grade 12 and some business courses. I served on Marie Cooper's Regional Indigenous Education Board in the 1970s. I worked in logging and later bought my own gravel truck. I served on the Songhees Band Elected Council for eight years, and I served on First Nations Intertribal Health Board in Nanaimo. I have been studying the Lekwungen language for a few years now, and this is one of my priorities right now. I would like to see our young Songhees members complete their education and follow their culture and especially our language in the curriculum. I would like to see them finish their schooling and have a full, fulfilling life. The children need their parents' support and our community support big time. They have, have to know their history and their lineage. The elders are not going to be around forever. So let's do all we can for the young people today, of today and future generations. Getting out on their lands and waters is part of that and what Living Lab and uh, ReefNet is focused on. I remember my own father keeping up our tradition of fishing on his boat and on the rivers. I want to see this continue. Our ancestors traveled and camped all summer and smoked fish, all of what is called Victoria by settlers, was our grocery store. Our traditional food sources. So in closing, Thanks again to you, all Legacy Gallery staff, you Vic, and especially Nick Claxton, Pump Salt too, and everyone supporting the waking up of the reef net fishery. The restoration of our ecosystems and our resurgence as First Nations, especially in education and land and ocean rights, which were interfered with. It is important to restore our history and to have this celebration. Hi, Chikas, yeah, hi, Chikas.